Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are looking at Iridium Skyblock. The name is pretty self-explanatory. This is a Skyblock plugin. Just so you know what to expect. In this tutorial, I'll first show how you can install Skyblock using a map folder. Depending on the type of server you're running, that might be what you're looking for. But I think most people would want a solution like Iridium Skyblock. So after that, we will look at Iridium Skyblock, installing it. I'll do a quick overview of the UI on our island. We'll also look at how we can combine this with Tabex to give something to a player or to a group of players once a package has been claimed or purchased. I already have my own server and connecting to my server, you can see I currently just have a normal map. So then if we stop the server, if we go to the files of our server, you can see we have world, world nether and world end. What I'm going to do, I'm going to delete world nether and world the end. Then we go to skyblock.net and under downloads, I'm going to download the newest version and I'm not going to download the hardcore version. Click download here. So what I did, you can see here is the zip file on the right. I just dragged the folder, the Skyblock 2.1 folder to a folder on my computer. I'm going to delete everything in this world folder and then I'm going to select everything from our folder on our computer and then just drag everything on there and wait for everything to upload. Now, when we try to connect, you will see, hopefully, that we have our island with our lava bucket and our ice. So this is by far the easiest way to get Skyblock running on a server. But if you're expecting a lot of people, you need something like Iridium Skyblock. So let's take a look at Iridium. I'm going to stop the server and then inside of the file manager, I'm going to delete all three of the world folders. That way it will generate a new world for us. Then I'm going to go to file manager and into plugins. As a side note, I already have Spigot installed. So make sure you install Spigot, start the server, and then it should create the plugins folder. We're then going to download the Iridium Skyblock from Spigot MC, and we also need Vault. So then we have Iridium in there, we add Vault, make sure you have both. And of course, all these links will be in the video description. It also says we need a economy plugin just for the plugin to work as intended. And it says Essentials X works fine, that's something I'm familiar with, so let's use Essentials X as well. We're not actually going to use it, but just so that Iridium Skyblock can hook into the economy. So let's go to EssentialsX.net, and then under Downloads, let's just download the core, and then let's also add that to our plugins folder. And then let's boot up. Creating what? Essentials, creating config, that's good. Enabling Iridium, that's also good. And I saw a vault, yeah, vault economy, Essentials economy hooked. So that's perfect. Iridium Skyblock enabled. Perfect. So loading back into the server, we now have a normal map again. Inside of the Iridium Skyblock wiki under commands, we can find all the commands that we have and it also shows us the permissions. And this is something I will come back to later in the tutorial. Let's first of all check the plugin information and see if it's even working. So we do slash is for Iridium Skyblock. It's already giving us options, so I know it's working, but let's do about and we get some information in the chat. So if we do slash island, we have three options. We have desert, jungle, and mushroom. Let's do jungle. And it says island created. And this is probably the sky blocks that you're more familiar with. So if we do slash is, we've got all the options here and everything is exactly as you're familiar with. All this text and all the values can also be configured as well as what is in your chest. Let's look at some files you might find interesting when configuring your server. So back at the file manager, let's go to plugin and then let's go inside of Iridium Skyblock. We have the commands. These are all the commands that are inside of the plugin. So let's look, for example, at create command. This is what we need to do in game to invoke this command. We can change the description, the syntax. We can also set a permission. We can, for example, add a permission called VIP. And then we can use Tabax to add a player to a group that has that permission. Lastly, we can set if the command is enabled or disabled. So let's look at another one. Let's look, for example, at blockvalues.yml. Here you can see what values are set for what blocks. This is in regards to leveling up your island. So if you want to make something custom or if you're not happy with a certain value, you can go in here, change the value, and then make sure that you reload the config. Inside of shop.yml, you can find all the items in the shop. And you can also add your own items. Just make sure you add them to the correct category. Here you can see the categories. Here you have the items. 
The documentation in general is very in-depth. The plugin itself is also very in-depth. And you really need to take your time to see what the options are and configure it exactly to your needs. Let's quickly look at permissions and how we can create a group that has a certain permission for our island. So for now, let's stop the server. And then I'm going to download LockPerms for bucket. Let's add that to our plugins folder. On our TabX dashboard, let's also add our server. So make sure your TabX store version is the same as your Minecraft version. So in this case, this is Java. Let's connect our server using the plugin. Let's call this Skyblock Tutorial and let's click on continue. Let's then download the Spigot plugin. And then once again, let's drag this onto our server. So with LockPerms and also TabX Edit, once again, let's start our server. Let's first go to LockPerms and then let's create a group with a permission. Let's connect to the server again. I am already operator. Since I am operator, I can do slash LP for lock perms. And then I like to open up the editor. We're going to open up the chat, click on the link, and then let's say yes. We're going to copy this command, paste it, press enter, and now we are connected. As you can see, we can now make changes. So under groups, we already have our default group. As it says, this is the group that everybody gets added to by default. So we want to make our own group. I'm going to call it group VIP. I'm also going to set the display name as VIP and leave everything else default. We can add permissions to this group and then we will use Tabex to add players to that group once they purchase or claim a package from our store. You probably don't want to do this, but let's say for some reason you want to give people access to save the schematics. The permission for that is iridium skyblock.schematic. So what we can do at the bottom of our VIP group, we can then add that permission Press enter to add it to our list. Press add to actually add it to our group. And then let's save it. And since I wasn't quick enough, we need to run this command. So I'm going to copy this. Then inside of the chat, I'm going to press enter. And this way it's still going to apply. Now, any normal player that is inside of the VIP group will be able to use the schematic command. So now let's use TabX to actually add a player to the VIP group once they claim or buy a package. So our server is already connected. Let's go to packages. Let's add a new package. So it gave the package a name, a description, and also a category. So it's going to be added to the packages category. And I also set a price of $5. Then scrolling down, I'm going to add a game server command deliverable. And this is going to be for our Skyblock server. So let's make sure we select that under our game servers. And then let's add a command. And this needs to be the LockPerms command that adds a player to a group. And I find it way easier to find this inside of the game. Let's do slash LockPerms user. Let's select my username. We're going to say my parent is going to be set to the VIP group. Let's press enter. And it says Tabex Academy has their existing parent groups cleared and now only inherits VIP in the context global. So this is exactly what we want. If we open up the chat, press arrow up, we get our last command. So let's first of all, copy this so we can use it on Tabex. And then let's also change us back to the default group so now we are back to the default group. Let's then paste this inside of Tabex. Let's remove the slash, we don't need that. Now the only thing we need to do is change my username for a variable. We can click on help here on the right. And then scrolling down a little bit, it says here for Minecraft Java, we have the name variable. So let's copy the name variable and then let's paste that instead of my username and make sure we don't mess up any of these spaces. So then let's click on create. Let's create a manual payment. So under payments, let's go to payment and then create manual payment. I filled in my Minecraft username and also selected the package. Let's then click on create to create a manual payment. Let's click on view. Scrolling down, you can see this is our command. What server, what the source is, so in this case from a package, what package and also what the status is do. So the command is about to be run. Oh, I was just in time to switch back. You can see Tabex Academy parent set to VIP. So now to test this, I'm going to open up a new LockPerms editor. Then under users, I'm going to go to TabX Academy. You can see my parent group is indeed set to VIP. And under VIP, we have that iridium.skyblock schematic. Once again, you can add any permission to a group from a plugin that you have installed on your server. I would recommend diving into the wiki and also on YouTube, there are a tons of videos diving into how to configure Iridium Skyblock. If you're still having issues and anything is unclear, of course, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope this was helpful. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.